Hello everyone, this is Sehemin and welcome to another new video. So now my first collection of fun accessory is launched on Case Defy. Many of you guys might hear about Case Defy, but for anyone who doesn't know about the brand, Case Defy makes phone cases, electronic accessories such as air tag cases, airport cases, and more. They are long-lasting. Case Defy targets not only iPhone users but also they make products for Android and Pixel users. That to me around the beginning of last August when I got an email from them for the first time I couldn't believe it very much because when I think of them a lot of celebrities I like have KSD5 phone cases and also my partner's side of family has KSD5 I feel extremely grateful that I had this kind of experience to work with a large brand and that is international I'm sure this is the coolest opportunity that I ever had in my life since I studied art when I was little, when I was in uni and even 5 years ago I had never imagined that my art would be on sale on international market and I had never imagined that I would collaborate with a big brand especially as an independent artist I didn't know how to get any opportunities to collaborate with a brand and how to start my own brand so I used to think I would be a great employee as a graphic designer or a product designer I feel the biggest achievement in my life and I feel very proud of the growth of my art brand this year so today I think it'll be good to talk about my experiences and how you can develop your branding design while I'm drawing an art to peace what is branding design? Branding design is related to the marketing process of creating the symbolic element such as the name, logo, color, illustration and something that you can visualize to make a distinctive identity as well as to increase the recognition So the first thing that I tried was creating characters when my art style was not built well, I used to draw random characters or fan art until the middle of 2021 When I realized that I wanted to use the same characters, I decided to draw a goose first At the time, it was around October, November, I created the character who born in autumn At the time, I used to use many autumnal colors whenever I drew the goose after the year at the beginning of 2022, I drew myself as a main character and a bunny who could represent the spring. Because I felt like the goose wasn't suitable for every season, I originally wanted to create a kitten or a puppy. But I feel always jealous when I see so many small businesses use their pets as their logo. I like being surrounded by a bunch of animals. When I imagine myself sharing the life with a fluffy animal, it makes me so happy. We are not considering of adopting a pet bun or a goose so I adore the animal so I frequently draw them in many art pieces things I tried number two adding background the moment when I started feeling comfortable to draw background was actually after I got used to draw commissions I used to draw very simple background and even when I worked on commissions I used to mention that I didn't want to draw much details Firstly because I wasn't sure how confident I was and how long it would take to complete an art piece 
But one day in the past, someone who wanted to have a customized art from me asked if I could draw much details in the background. She didn't care of the delivery time and only thing she wanted was a completed art in my style. I was thinking like this might be the signal from my follower and my followers on Instagram might hope to see my upgraded art skills. This actually motivated me to try to create a variety of themes. Since then, I was very consistent to add details in the background. And because of the background, I think the drawing looks like it has a story. Also, the drawing background has developed the characters and more ideas pop up when I sketch. The next thing I want you to consider is texture and brushes if you create digital art. Texture can give a powerful impression to the audiences. One of frequently asked questions from new audiences is about the brushes I use and how I make texture. And the questions always make me feel very unique. I have never created brushes before and I bought a crayon brush set on Creative Market only once in my life. At the time, I was considering of watercolor or gouache, but I realized that I preferred um, dry texture like color pencils. I got the brush set um, around June 2021. My drawing style this year is not as same as how I used to do in previous years. I have developed a technique over the past 18 months. I have experimented how I could make soft and comfortable art style. Also, I'm really glad that the audience really like how I drew cheeks on the character's face. The next thing that I want to talk about is choice of colors. Colors has a powerful ability to build a brand. Colors can impact on the personality of the brand and how the audience would feel. Warm colors evoke feelings of warmth, comfort, and happiness. But depending on different shades, tints, and saturation, the colors can create intense feeling or calmness. To decide the colors, I recommend you researching for inspiration. But when I have a researching process or inspirational process, I try to avoid researching too much about other illustrators or similar businesses. My branding colors became pink and yellow. I enjoyed making art prints and stickers with a spring theme in last March. After finishing the spring project, I didn't mind using the same color palette. So I continued using the same color palette in May, in June, and July. Also, I was curious about how I would end up feeling like. Eventually, I liked it and also I'm very happy about it when people comment on my art saying my drawing looks fuller and cozy and the style looks like a spring. They look like they recognize my art with seeing the colors that I use every day. So I am very happy about my color decision and how the art pieces that I've created this year turned out. The last thing that I want to talk about is key words to represent your identity. Think about what message you want to deliver to your audience. What do you wish them to feel whenever they see your new creative work over and over? Once you decide a few key words, practice drawing with them for a year whenever you work on a personal project or a theme project. This process works for me and I feel grateful about my Instagram followers being aware of my drawing style very well. At the beginning of being a self-employed illustrator, I was not very confident of what to draw and how to satisfy um, followers, the audience, but since I got comments and DMs and surprisingly even emails, I feel like I got to know what kind of illustration my followers want to see and how they think about my art. I haven't followed the trend of theme to draw and I haven't 
not been interested in drawing in toga prints or fan arts much since 2021. I found it was more interesting and exciting when I did my own stuff. There's a thing that I want to develop next year, and that is typography. My handwriting style looks too normal, and I think it'll be nice to have my own typography style and add a quote in the future art work for a shop projects or YouTube thumbnails. That's all about today's video. If you wanna check out my first collection of KC5, if you wanna treat it yourself, the link in the down description box. Now I'm gonna end in this video here. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. Have a wonderful lovely day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!